Hi there, welcome back to The Pen and Inkwell. I'm Ruth Hanson and today I'm going to be looking at something different. You've seen a couple of videos of mine where I've been looking at Lamy pens. We looked at the Safari and we looked at the All Star and the two limited editions that came out for 2014. So we're going to carry on in that trend and look at another special edition that's come out for 2014. But this time, it's another German brand, but we're going to be looking at Pelican. I say first of all, thank you ever so much to Ross and his team at Niche Pens for loaning us this pen to have a look at and to do a review of. And um, join us in a second for a few more details. So let's have a look at this pen in a bit more detail now. So this is how it arrives. I haven't seen this box by Pelican before, and Pelican do do some really nice boxes, but I actually, I think this is a very nice one. So we just pull it out of that sleeve here, put that aside for now. And then it's nicely tucked away still with inside here. So if we pull that out just for a moment, have a look underneath here. Just go a bit of tissue paper, it's quite nicely encasing all of the warranty details. So the Pelican book here that we've seen before in others, but I quite like it. So yeah, we'll put that aside for now. So it's now in this nice little sort of cream pouch with a ribbon that's attached to it. So open that up and still, so it's really, really well protected in there. So I suppose you could use this as a pen envelope and take it out and about and keep it in there to keep it safe if you're taking it in your bag. So here we are, let's get this pen out. So this is the M200 Cognac they're calling this. I know they've done a few demonstrators now, so there's a clear demonstrator, there was a blue demonstrator, there was a bright green one last year, um, there was a yellow highlighter one. Um, they also brought out an amber one and I think in the pictures that I saw early on of this I didn't really know whether it looked that different to the amber, but seeing it in person it is. It's not hugely different, but it's different enough. It's definitely darker. You have a look close to that there. It's definitely a darker colour and it really is, I suppose, I think cognac is a very good representation of the colour. So let's have a look then at this in a little more detail. So we look at the end of this. So we have our Pelican logo at the top here on the back background. The clip, I like the Pelican clips. They're springy, but the shape of them, if you can see there, it's got a really nice, sorry about the camera work there, it's got a really nice sort of bit there you can get underneath it so it really does catch on things properly. Then, if we have a look, it's very, it is very cylindrical, there isn't an awful lot sort of going on. It's got a lovely gold band around the middle, I don't know if you can see that there close enough, just about it says Pelican around the band there. And then if we go down to the piston, as you say, cylindrical at the end there. It's quite a small pen, it's not a huge pen, let me see how long it is, if I can find my ruler that is. So it's capped about 125 millimetres long as a pen. So if we uncap that, they really are quite small pens, I have to say. They're, you know, they're not huge pens at all. Again, it's about 120 millimetres. But you can post it, and I think it's one of those pens that you would post, actually. So posted, looking at about 100... 145 millimetres posted. So as a posted pen, it's not that bad actually. It's got a nice size. I never used to post any of my pens, but certainly with these lighter pens, I do find that I like posting them an awful lot more. So I just take that cap off and we'll have a look at it in a little more detail. So the one thing they've done with this pen, I don't know if, you, if any of you have noticed yet, let's see if I can get a focus on that nib there. I don't think I can get it very well. But it's a 1.1 italic nib that you can buy with this pen. 
from Pelican. Um, it needs a little work on it, I would say, this nib. It's, it skips a little bit. It's not the smoothest of writers. You know, it, it's missing little parts, but I think it would be, for those of you that like a broader nib, it, is, it really is a nice addition to have. So you can have the pen with this nib at an additional, in here in the UK, it's an additional £10 charge to have this nib in comparison to the um, extra fine here that I would usually have as standard. But they're so easy to swap out. So if you have a look, so, you know, they just literally screw out of here. She says, now she can't do it. There we go. So they literally just screw out and you can swap the nibs around. But for this one, I'm going to keep in the italic nib for the purposes of this video. But I think if I was using this pen, I would probably have the extra fine nib in it myself because even though they're steel nibs, they are really nice extra fine steel nibs. A little on the broad side for extra fine, but actually I quite like it now. Um, I've got used to something with a little, something being a little broader. So if you have a look here, you can see through it's a piston filler. So if you have a look through that action there, you will see the piston working quite nicely. It's a very smooth action. I mean, there, I have to say there isn't a huge amount to say about it. The colour, the colour really is beautiful. You can have a look. I'll put place that down. The colour really is something very special. It looks nice. I've taken a few pictures of it. I was given a bottle of um, Edelstein Garnet along with this pen and the sort of com the colours sort of complement each other really well and the classic look of the pen. You know, it's not flashy, it goes really well with the gold trim. This isn't something that would work with silver trim at all. But it really is a nice looking pen. If you're looking at that M200 line, it's something, you know, a bit different. And if you like the demonstrator look, I like the fact that it is this sort of smoky colour that you see there so you don't see everything through it but it's enough to look quite classical. So the only thing that I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a few measurements. As I said we've done the size of it so if we just if I just weigh it here I've got a weighing scales to the side here and have a look. So it's just nine grams in weight as it, let me just double check that, that I've got it on the right unit here. Cancel that down and just check again. Yeah, it is just nine grams in weight with like this. If I put the cap back on, 14 grams. So this is a very, very light pen. Do you think if there's anything size wise? I'd say it's pretty comparable to, let me see what I can find here, Pilot Prera, they're pretty comparable as far as size of pen is concerned. Um, I sort of, you know, the other example then I suppose if we look at, you know, Pilot Capless next to it. You know, far bigger pens. But if you're looking for a small pen, if you're looking for something that is... Sorry about all that noise, just putting all my drawers back together with all the pens in them. If you're looking something, for something classic, it is. You know, it's different. I don't like black pens. I don't own a black pen. None of my pens are black. Um, and the M200 does come in that sort of classic black colour. But this, I actually really like. I didn't get the clear demonstrator because I have a few clear demonstrators, but this is something that little bit different. And it's a nice colour. You know, the yellow that they made a little while ago with the highlight of the M205, that was nice. But this, I think, is something just that little bit nicer. So all that's left for me to do now is I'm going to... Mm fill this up with Noodler's Burma Road Brown Ink that I've had for a little while. I will do a little writing sample and I'll see you back in two seconds. 
So let's do a writing sample with this M200. So this is a Pelican M200 Cognac Special Edition. It is a special edition, not a limited edition. These pens are not numbered. Um, so I think they're just available for a particular time, but they haven't sort of announced how long those are available for. And this is the italic nib that comes as a 1.1 millimeter. And these nibs are available here in the UK at an additional 10 pounds in comparison on top of the pen than if you had the regular steel, extra fine, fine, medium or broad nib. Um, they are all steel nibs, but Pelican steel nibs are very nice steel nibs. So the ink today is, as I mentioned earlier, Noodlers, Burma Road Brown. This is among one of my favourite browns. It edges on the, just edges on the side, you know, on the side of green a little bit, but I quite like it somewhere in the middle. As I said, as you can see, there is some skip in there. I noticed it when I was doing some journal writing in the week. Um, I believe there have been some problems with some of these italic nibs, but they just need a little sort of tuning actually. And I think, you know, the pen is so nice that I probably, you know, if it was my pen, I would bother to just smooth those nib, you know, to smooth the tines out and make sure that it's writing nicely. It is a, it is a very wet nib. You know, they, it lays down a lot of ink particularly with this italic nib but it has you know and these broader nibs as you'd expect as far as line variation is concerned yeah it is very good you know i it's what we'd expect from an italic nib and there isn't much flex in it if any you know it's very slight but you know, it's, there's a little bit there if you wanted to, but you know, it's not really why you'd buy the italic nibs. It gives that nice line variation anyway, as you can see. So, is there anything else to say? Actually, what I will do, um, as I've got a spare nib, I'll change this nib out and show you just quite how straightforward it is to change these nibs. So just I just take a cloth just to protect the nib and protect my fingers from getting any inkier than they already are. But they're there, and then um, it just really is just a matter then of screwing the other nib unit back in. If I do it the right way, that is. So this one now then is. We get this ink flowing back through this pen now, this nib now through the feed. So again, Pelican. M200 Cognac, but this is an extra fine nib. Again, a steel nib. I really like these extra fine nibs. So if you have a look, there's the line there, and then there's of the metallic nib, and here's the line of the extra fine nib. There is, you know, obviously there should be, and absolutely should be a, a big difference. But these extra fines, I like them. You know, they're among my favourites. Extra fine Western nibs that are around the Pelicans. But I do have to say, there is a difference, or I've, certainly I found in my experience, there is a difference between the extra fine in a steel nib and the extra fine gold nibs that come on the M400 series. Those I find too broad for my taste, and um, subsequently... I don't have one anymore. I, you know, they're um, very smooth, but you know, I don't own one. So just do a little bit more writing. So the five boxing wizards. Jump quickly. The italic nib is a far smoother nib than the extra fine nib is, but I do find this extra fine very smooth anyway. 
there is a little bit of feedback to it, but in a good way, it's good feedback. It's not, it sounds loud over the camera here because obviously the camera's so close to this paper. Um, but other than that, it's, it's lovely. You know, they are very, very nice to write with. It's comfortable in my hand. You can post it, as you say, and make it a longer pen. It's still, it's not top heavy either, I have to say. You know, it is nice. So I would use it either way. Um, I don't think there's really anything else to say, to be honest, other than to say, if you've got any comments, please leave a comment below on our videos. Please subscribe to our videos and pop over to our website, thepenandinkwell.com, follow our blog, and we also post our reviews there, so there's some ink reviews and some sample ink samples and everything on that site, and some little projects that we've sort of got going. But I hope to hear from you, and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.